It's George Floyd 3.0 in a prison. Five former corrections officers at the Jefferson City Correctional Center have been charged with multiple crimes after the death of an inmate. 38-year-old Othell Moore died in the Jefferson City Correctional Center in December. Today, Cole County Prosecutor Locke Thompson said Justin Leggins, Jacob Case, Aaron Brown, and Gregory Varner have been charged with assault and second-degree murder. Breanne Bradshaw is charged with manslaughter. Tonight, our ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live in studio after sitting in on a press conference from the family's attorneys. Mitchell, on top of all of those criminal charges, the family has also filed a federal rights civil lawsuit. Megan, Moore's family's attorneys called the five officers charged today a terror squad. They say Moore's death happened in the middle of the day in front of other inmates, and they're now demanding the release of the security footage. The reason it's so important is it's a watershed moment in America. Representatives of the Disparity Law Group call the charges unprecedented. Five criminal indictments against the officers who allegedly killed Othell Moore. Othell Moore, like George Floyd, was beaten. Othell was actually pepper sprayed. They put a spit mask on his face. They put him in the prone position face down. They shocked him with shock gloves. The entire time before his death, Othell was screaming, I can't breathe. Records obtained by ABC 17 show Moore's death was caused by suffocating after contents of his stomach got into his lungs. Those that were sworn to protect and serve inmates killed an inmate. They did so with depraved hearts in a cold-blooded manner. Four of the five officers involved in the alleged incident were fired in March after an internal investigation. However, their names were not released at the time. Moore was 18 years into a 30-year sentence for domestic assault, drug possession, robbery, armed criminal action, and violence to a prison inmate or employee. The DOC wrote in a statement, it takes its responsibility for creating a safe environment seriously, and it will, quote, not tolerate behaviors or conditions that endanger the well-being of Missourians working or living in our facilities." End quote. Moore's sister says her entire family is still hurting. We haven't saw my brother out here since he was a kid. He won't get to live his life. He doesn't even know what it is to be a grown man. The Missouri DOC says it has discontinued the use of the restraint Moore was put in before he died. It also added that it has implemented body-worn cameras in some maximum security facilities, starting with the Jefferson City Correctional Center. Mitchell, thank you. Breanne Bradshaw is the only one of the five charged with manslaughter. Court documents say she oversaw the housing unit where Moore was put after he was restrained. As of this afternoon, she was the only officer in custody.